Hi, my name is Michael Hackett from Logic Gear Corporation, and today we're going to be talking about test strategy uh, in continuous testing as part of our series on continuous testing in DevOps. So, a few of the topics that we're going to talk about today with uh, the new test strategy and continuous testing, uh, we've talked about in some of the previous videos, but it's going to require uh, a whole rethinking of the test strategy. That doesn't mean we have to change everything about our test strategy, but we have to rethink uh, what tests we're running and where we're running them. So first I want to say that continuous testing is based on you having a perfect agile process. It really has to be optimized and great. You need a great and enforced definition of done. If you're fudging on definition of done and building up technical debt, continuous testing will not work for you. Um, so, so make sure that your agile process is your collaboration, your connection with the product owner, uh, with the business is, is really perfect before you start uh, implementing continuous testing processes. Uh, another thing I would say is, is mandatory is that you have really good in sprint automation, that you are not uh, continuously playing catch up with your automation suites that um, new, when new functionality gets added, those functions and those scenarios, including those functions, um, are included in your automation right away. Uh, the thing about continuous testing is, just like it sounds, you're gonna be testing continuously. Some teams find that they have less downtime uh, as you would in some companies when they have implemented uh, scrum and they've implemented sprints. The first couple of days of uh, a sprint are catch-up time for the test team to finish some of the technical debt from the last sprint. But continuous testing really shrinks the amount of available time. It, I shouldn't say shrink, I should say it smooths out. It smooths out your testing process so that you're not going to have such peaks and valleys. So first I want to say you really need a great agile process with your sprints and your collaboration, definition of done, your in-sprint automation, uh, everything about how Agile is going for you. Even if you're moving to Kanban using the same principles, um, your testing process as it is today really needs to be optimized. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is, is continuous integration. Uh, most of you know continuous integration from the XP practice that you've been using in Agile and in Scrum. Uh, and I said in the earlier video that Continuous testing comes from, it's built out from continuous integration. So if we have our build and our automated build process and we rerun the unit tests and we rerun a smoke test, we can build on that uh, continuous integration, build the levels of awesomeness, as they say, uh, with continuous integration. And you start running your full regression against a virtual machine or a few virtual machines or every platform that your product supports. Uh, your continuous integration can really be a giant process that really is the first few steps in continuous testing. Um, so, so you have to have a really good continuous integration process, auto build, smoke test, regression test uh, in place already. So if we're going to pick up from continuous integration, uh, one of the key things we talked about what is DevOps in the first video is testing at every step, the lean process of testing at every step. And this also includes uh, test early, test often, and it also includes shift left. Uh, we've talked about those in terms of DevOps earlier. Uh, shift left, shift testing as early as you can uh, when, when issues are cheaper to find and you, you have, you're building quality at every step. So part of this strategy is going to be re-examining what tests you run at what environments. So the first part of this I want to talk about is quality at every step in continuous testing. So when you're thinking about continuous testing, it does not mean that you just continuously run your regression suite, the automated regression suite, over and over and over and over. That's not what continuous testing is about. Uh, continuous testing is more about quality at every step. You do a build, you test it. You integrate some APIs, you test it. You move to a new environment, you test it. You move to a bigger database, you test it. You move to a staging environment, you test it. You move to production, you test it. So continuous testing is really more about quality at every step, testing at every step, than it is about 
uh, just rerunning the same regression suite over and over. So the second part of that is uh, looking at what tests you run uh, at what point. So think when you're in the dev environment, what tests get run at the dev environment? Maybe low level unit tests, maybe your smoke test, and maybe that's it. Uh, when you migrate to uh, a test environment, what tests get run there? Uh, maybe API tests, maybe running against a small database, maybe it's the first place that you, have, you can do system testing where you have the whole integrated system. Maybe you have to go to another environment to test if you connect to a dozen, uh, if you support a dozen mobile devices and five different browsers, maybe you do that in the test environment, maybe you do that in another environment. Uh, what I'm suggesting to you is that you look at every environment that you run on and what tests you run there. Uh, at this point, I also want to include the idea of other people's tests. So uh, I brought that up in the first uh, video on what is DevOps. One of the key things about continuous testing is that we may need to take over the performance tests and we may need to take over security tests. We may need to take over uh, failover tests, we may need to take over uh, any variety of tests that happen in the full lifecycle testing strategy that are going to get automated and that are going to get rolled into our continuous testing process and rerun uh, every time we run uh, a suite. So uh, the justification I gave for that earlier is we don't want to wait until the we get into production to be running some uh, performance tests and find out that we have some performance problems. You want to test early, test often. You want to run those tests as early as possible on the earliest environment that can you can simulate the load that you need to uh, simulate so that you can find performance tests as early as possible when the issues are cheaper to deal with. So let's regroup for a minute. With continuous testing, you need to make sure that you have a great agile process already in place. Second, uh, Continuous testing is built from continuous integration. So it's like we take continuous integration as far as we can, and then we start adding in more. Uh, remember also when we talked in the last video about environments and data that a big part of the ops part of DevOps is whether you use uh, VMs or cloud infrastructure or these on-demand uh, environment uh, as a service. Uh, your environment issues and your data issues are going to be solved for you so we don't have to wait to get really great staging environments. They can be spun up anytime we, we want. So we have a really good agile process. We have a good CI process to build on. We re-examine what tests we're running against what environment and we test it every step. We, that quality at every step, that lean practice, we're testing it every step and we're also incorporating other tests into our suite, like performance tests, like security tests, if you're doing uh, um, any attack uh, or uh, testing uh, for, for, as part of your security process, those can happen earlier when if you find issues there, they're going to be cheaper to deal with. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about in, in this continuous testing uh, is how you define regression. Now, regression really needs its own uh, discussion here. So many companies have uh, good effective regression suites, but more companies have uh, old, heavy, laborious, uh, slow regression suites. And one of the things we're going to talk about in the automation uh, video next is how can we move our automated regression suite from being heavy and bloated and time consuming to being lean and mean. So when we talk about regression, we need to talk about lean and mean. Uh, with continuous delivery and continuous deployment that we previously defined, um, our tests can't take days and days and days to run. Our regression suite can't take days to run. I have a couple of clients who have had such problems with their automation when they've tried to do continuous uh, integration, continuous testing, that they've thrown out their automation and built it from the ground up, looking more for lean and mean automation suites than uh, bloated and slow automation suites. So this, this, this area that we're talking about with, with automation, I don't want to get too far ahead of us, really comes from how we define regression. So when we talk about regression, we may have multiple regression sets. 
Uh, and uh, I think this is one of the key changes to people's test strategy is that we need to better define regression and focus more on lean and mean rather than uh, everything goes in the regression suite. Every single test that we run goes in the regression suite or we automate things because we can. Our automation needs to be lean and mean, right? We can't take such a long time to run our automated regression suite. So we may have our smoke test, which is a regression suite. We may have our full regression, but we may only run that once or twice during the development cycle. We may need uh, a happy path regression that is more end-to-end, -end, more multiple functions rather than small individual tests, bigger, longer, end-to-end uh, -end functions that are going to uh, touch every integrated system. So if we have APIs, if we have various databases, if we have various subsystems, um, small isolated regression tests aren't going to cut it anymore. We may need end -to an end-to-end -end test that touches every subsystem, that touches every API, that touches every form uh, in sequence to get some end-to-end some -end tests to make sure that the integrated system is going to work uh, and we find data flow problems and we find uh, issues that we would only find by running fuller, longer scenario tests rather than small, isolated um, acceptance tests or validation tests. So we may need to redefine regression and have multiple regression suites that are run against various environments. Actually, that's one of the key, key changes that many companies have to make uh, when they move to continuous testing is... Uh, redefining what tests get run where and that the full regression suite is just not going to cut it anymore. Uh, you can, we'll be writing more about uh, regression, how the uh, DevOps and continuous testing is changing how we define regression testing. So uh, one more thing I want to talk about in testing strategy is uh, testing in production. Now, having been in the quality business for a long time, uh, as, a, as a, on a test team, we always said never test in production, never test in production. But now in DevOps, uh, whether we call it continuous monitoring or it's uh, an automated suite that we run in the production environment, uh, it's very common now in DevOps that we run a suite of tests in production to monitor what's going on, to find bugs going on, um, to find things that might only happen in the production environment uh, with full production data in race conditions. There, there's whole types of tests that we know if you have a good testing practice, like concurrency and race condition. Uh, there's various types of issues that come up uh, only when you're in a production or, or really production-like environment. Well, uh, in continuous testing, we either have to shift those tests left and run them earlier or uh, run them as part of a continuous monitoring suite um, to make sure that we're monitoring what's going on out in the, in the live production environment. But teams need to be very careful about what tests they run in production, obviously, because you don't want to run anything that's going to interfere uh, or intrude on the, uh, the processes that are going on, the, uh, the types of testing that are happening, right? You don't want to be finding uh, you don't want to be running tests that are going to cause multi-threading issues. Uh, you want to find those in earlier environments. You don't want to run those tests in production, but you still have to run a set of tests in uh, production as part of your full lifecycle test strategy. So if I'm going to summarize this again, we have, uh, do we have to re-examine our whole testing strategy in uh, continuous testing? It's predicated on you having a great uh, Agile or Scrum process already with in sprint automation. Um, it starts, continuous testing starts uh, with the CI process and adds on to the continuous integration process. And if the, if the theme that you can remember is quality at every step, testing at every step, uh, that's how you build your uh, continuous testing practice based on every time you make a change, every time you move to another environment, every time you integrate a new container, a new API, a new anything, um, you verify it. So you, you test it every step. And uh, running other people's tests uh, is important um, because we may not have been running those earlier. We need to get more familiar with running them and having them be part of our uh, automated suite and re-examine uh, 
regression testing and how you define regression and move more toward or your regression automation being lean and mean rather than just bloated and slow. Uh, and finally, uh, there are going to have to be automated tests that run in production as part of your continuous monitoring process or just uh, part of your testing process. Make sure that they don't intrude on uh, the users using your system. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you've been watching the other videos in this. And the next topic is going to be uh, test automation in continuous testing, test automation in DevOps. Thank you.